Hey everyone, whether you're new to the law of attraction or you've been practicing it for years, this video will give you actionable steps to bridge that gap between ancient teachings and modern science. So get comfortable and let's work on manifesting some magic together. Neville Goddard's method believed that the key to manifesting anything lies in the principle and the law of assumption, which unlike the traditional idea of the law of attraction, Neville emphasized that you must also assume the feeling of your wishes though it's already been fulfilled. That means you don't just ask for what you want, but you also live it as if it's already here, as though you already have it. If you wanna manifest wealth, you have to think, feel, and act as though you're already wealthy. I know this might sound a little woo-woo to some of you, but let me give you a modern scientific perspective that supports this, neuroplasticity. Our brains are constantly changing and adapting based on thoughts and experiences that we engage with. When we repeatedly think and feel as if we've already achieved something, we create new neural pathways that align with our new reality. Even studies in neuroscience have shown that visualizing a future outcome activates the same neural networks and is actually experiencing it. You might have heard of people that actually just think about playing the piano and then their brains somehow learn to play the piano just by thinking about playing the piano. It's the same way with manifesting. Pretty amazing though. Neville Goddard's law of assumption isn't just a belief, but it is backed by science and how our brains actually operate. So when we assume that we already have our desires, our brains start working to make that reality come true. It's time to put this into practice. We're gonna use Neville's technique called feel it real. Put your emotionality into the experience of already having what you want. So in the first step, if you can close your eyes, depending where you're at, take a deep breath and just try to picture yourself in a future where your desires are already fulfilled. Don't just think about it, but really see it. Are you excited? When you think about this goal or dream, being in your life right now, are you at peace? Do you feel happier? Do you feel a sense of joy or just relief maybe? Make those feelings and emotions feel as vivid as you possibly can because your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's imagined. It responds to your emotions. So the more emotion you can put into it, the stronger your feelings, actually the quicker your outcome will be. Then the next step, engage your senses as much as you can. You're driving down the road and you listen to a piece of music and it brings back a memory from when you were a teenager, or just how you felt when this song comes on the radio, that's what you're trying to tap into. If you're manifesting a dream home, what does that new environment feel like? What does it smell like when you walk in? What are you hearing? What are you seeing, tasting? Are there cookies in the oven? Can you smell them? The more details that you can add to any of your visions, the better. If you're trying to manifest your ideal job, imagine yourself in the location, whether it's a desk, working from home, hearing the sounds of your new colleagues, seeing your paycheck with the exact dollar amount that you planned on receiving. So this technique isn't just about imagining your future, it's about creating it right here, right now, through the power of your mind, right where you are. Even if you're in your own bedroom or your own home or you're out on a walk, you can come back to this exercise until it feels like second nature. You get faster at this the more you do it. And remember, the more real that it feels, the more your brain will align with that new reality over time. This leads us, though, to one of the biggest mistakes people make when they use the law of attraction or the law of assumption is becoming a little too overly attached. I know you've heard this before, a little too overly attached to the outcome. What does it mean, though? They forget about one important step, letting go. Let me explain why letting go is important. When you're constantly worrying about whether your desire will manifest, you're actually sending a message of lack. You're telling the universe then that you don't trust the process. Think of it like planting a seed. If you keep digging it up to see if it's growing, you're disrupting its natural process. So instead, you plant it, you water it, and you trust that it will grow. And manifestation works in the same way. There's also a psychological reason why detachment works, 
It's called the Zygarnik effect. Studies show that our minds tend to fixate on incomplete tasks or unresolved desires. When we obsess over something we want, we're inadvertently focusing on the absence of it, which brings more of that lack into our lives. So after you've asked the universe and visualized your outcome, release it. Trust your brain's neuroplasticity is working behind the scenes to bring it to you. Relax and enjoy the process. I want you to just answer these few questions as quickly as you can with the first thing that comes to your mind. The first one is, what specific thing are you manifesting right now? Be very clear about it. If it's money, love, health, a certain amount of income, whatever it is, the love of your life, your SP, make it specific with all the details. The second thing is, how does it feel to already have it? Describe the emotions that come up for you when you imagine this new reality. Happy, relief, joy, satisfaction. Make a list of all those emotions and feel them. The third question, what small actions can you take today to align with this new reality? And remember, the universe responds to action. Even if it's a small step, jot it down. The fourth one, how can I let go of attachment to the desire? What mindset shift might help you to trust the process a little bit more? Writing this down will help you reinforce the process and also might help you to get a little clearer on your intentions. And remember too, the act of jotting down is also helping to rewire your brain by putting those desires into words, but jot them down because you'll appreciate them later. In Neville Goddard's teachings, while spiritual in nature, they are deeply aligned with the current findings of neuroscience and psychology. When you visualize and you feel it real, you're tapping into the brain's reticular activating system, the RAS, which filters out unnecessary information and focuses then on what is most important to you. For example, have you ever noticed that after you decide to buy a new car, you start suddenly seeing that same car everywhere? That's your RAS at work. The more you focus on something, the more your brain filters out information and aligns with that focus. Neville Goddard's idea then of assuming the wish fulfilled is like giving your reticular activating system a target to seek out. Your brain becomes more attuned to opportunities to people and circumstances that align with those desires. It's like having a personal GPS guiding you toward your goals. So by blending, what I like to think of is like blending ancient wisdom with modern scientific principles, we can approach manifestation from both a spiritual and a practical standpoint. This isn't about magic, it's about understanding how the mind works and leveraging that to create the life that you want. Neville Goddard's approach combined with modern neuroscience, shows us that manifestation is both an art and a science. When you ask the universe with clarity, assume the feeling of your wish being already fulfilled, and then let go. You're tapping into your brain's natural abilities to make your dreams a reality today. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe, and hey, leave a comment below. What are you manifesting now? Or where are you watching from in the world? I'd love to hear from you. Now click that next episode that'll go deeper into quicker manifesting. Thank you for being here and happy manifesting.